Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to make a Bodhi plot using MATLAB. Here's a sort of blank template I've prepared before I started the video. To begin with, just close everything, clear, clear your workspace, and here's the transfer function that we will be using. Everything in green is a comment if you're new to MATLAB, so it's not part of the program. Um, G of S equals 2 over S plus 1. This is the transfer function that I'd like to obtain a Bodhi plot for. So first tell MATLAB what the numerator is. These brackets indicate a matrix. The numerator is 2. And now for the denominator, start with the highest power of s. That's s to the first power in this case. If it went up to s to the 100th power, we choose that s. And take the coefficient. Here, the coefficient on s is 1, space and the coefficient on s to the 0, the next lowest power, is also 1. We put 1. Here define some variable to hold the transfer function, say equals, and assign it this transfer function, tf. It's a built-in function inside MATLAB, and give it the numerator and denominator. Next we use the Bode command to um, plot the transfer function that we just defined. We turn the grid on with using the word grid and start the program. Here's our plot, but first look here. You can see it is the transfer function that we wanted. We can verify that here. And it's a continuous time transfer function. Okay, and now let's look at the actual plot. So a couple of things to notice here. First of all, take a look at the beginning value. Notice that it starts out at roughly 6. Um, and how can we tell by looking at the transfer function what it should be starting at? Well, if you take the magnitude when um, omega is 0, uh, what you would have here is just 2 over 1 if s is equal to j omega. Uh, so 2 over 1 is 2. So 2 when omega is 0. So why don't we see 2 here? That's more like down here. Well, it's because we're in decibels. So to convert, what you would do is put 2 and take the log of that value and multiply by 20. And now you're in decibels, roughly 6 decibels. So now that makes more sense. We are at about 6 decibels here. Next thing to notice is what's called the breakpoint. Breakpoints will be located at wherever you have a pole or zero. In this case, we have a pole, essentially a zero in the denominator, if you'd like to call it that. Here at s equals negative one, so our break frequency is at one radians per second. And that will be located at 10 to the zero. 10 to the zero is one. So we know that where this point is. And I'll show it to you here on the graph. It's right here. This is our break point. And uh, next, take a look at how the magnitude decreases after you go beyond the break point. This is because it's a pole. If it was a zero, it would be increasing instead. And it actually decreases at exactly 20 dB per decade. You can ver ver um, verify that this is the case. Um, move along another decade. So right here, you'll notice that it's moved from roughly 5 to negative 15. That's a difference of 20. Move one more decade, and you're down here. You've moved from negative 15 to negative 35, roughly. That's another 20 um, decibels in one decade. So that checks out. Um, okay, next let's look at the phase. The phase starts at 0. And a rule of thumb is that the phase will start at zero if this transfer function is positive, which it is, or it would start out at 180 degrees if it was negative. Then it starts to decrease. Um, it decreases at negative 45 degrees between this point and this point. The break point in one decade before the break point decreases roughly 45 degrees. And it does this again um, 
by the end of the plot. If it was a zero instead of a pull, it would be increasing. And as a general rule of thumb, um, it would be steeper with more pulls. And now an uh, intuition for what this plot means. First looking at the magnitude plot, this means for this region here, this region, the output is roughly twice the input. Um, at the zero point, right here, uh, they'll be equivalent in magnitude, um, no increase. And then it starts to, the output tends to be less than the input. The phase is talking about the lag. At the beginning, the input and output are in sync, zero phase. But eventually, the output lags behind the input until it's at negative 45 degrees at the break point, and here at negative 90 degrees um, at the end of a plot. And this is uh, how you make a Bode plot using that.